I'll try and help you separate your audio onto three tracks as fast as I can. It's a pain in the ass, but if you know how, it's not too difficult. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, go to these sounds, right click, sounds, go to your playback and you want to you want to identify what your normal playback device is. So for me, it would be speakers, main audio, Sennheiser for my headphones. You need to remember this. And the same with your recording, go to your recording and identify your uh, your normal microphone. My normal one would be my Yeti, so remember that as well. Okay, the next thing is to install Voice Meter Banana. Go to the link in the description, click on the link, it should take you to this page, and scroll down, download, I'll just use the XE. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to get is the virtual cable, the link's in the description. Okay, so once you've installed those, you also need to go to your sounds. You need to make sure that your playback is now set to the voice meter aux input. And recording is set to voice meter aux output. Set these as your default. Okay, so the next thing you want to do once you've installed both of those is open voice meter banana. Yours should look like this, or roughly like this, when you open it first time. You want to go to Hardware Input 1, and you want to add the microphone that you identified earlier. So for me, it's the Yeti. And as soon as you do that, you should start getting some kind of voice input. I'm going to rename it. So for me, that's Yeti Mic. As you can see, it's picking up sounds. Then you want to go over to A1 and you want to add the playback device that you identified earlier. So for me, it's the Sennheiser headset. And you want to add the Yeti mic or your mic onto the B2 channel. Then you want to go to the second hardware input and you want to add the virtual cable we installed earlier. This is what your Discord audio is going to come through, so rename that to Discord. And you want to copy these settings. You want Discord so you can hear it on A1. That's going to send the Discord audio to your headset. Okay. And you want the voice meter aux on A1 so you can hear. And then the other settings, I've got A2 and B1. I'm not, I'm not ideally sure what they do, but I'm adding a bit of gain so everything's a bit loaded to me. And that's it. All good. So the next thing you want to do is go to your Discord. Go to your Discord settings. Go to voice and video. You need to use your voice meter aux output which is going to be your microphone channel is the input device you want to send any audio coming out of discord to the virtual cable that will send that over to your voice meter channel okay so i'm inside obs now i've made a new obs instance just to show you guys i've got a fresh uh, scene collection so i don't have anything set up at the moment so on this scene if i wanted to add some audio there's three things we need to add we need to add your desktop audio which is going to be your game audio we need to add your microphone and then we need to add any discord audio that comes in so go to your sources you want to add three sources we need one audio input we're going to call this mic and set this to the output so this is going to be your microphone okay then we need to add another input this is going to be any input coming from Discord, which we're going to use the cable for. Okay. And then we're going to add another audio in output. And that is going to be the voice meter aux input, which is any game audio that comes out. Okay, you're all done. So the next thing we need to do is go to your settings. Go to your streaming, the audio track for your stream, we're going to set to track 4. The audio track for your recording is going to be 1, 2 and 3. 
So your recordings are going to have one, two, and three tracks. One is going to be your desktop, one is Discord, and one is your microphone. Your stream is going to have all three of them, but we're going to put those onto track four. Make sure your tracks are named properly. So I've named my first one Game Audio, my second Mic Audio, and my third one VoIP. Okay, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go down to your audio mixer, right click, advanced audio properties. You need to make sure if you untick everything, we have the audio output, which is your game, to track one, your Discord, track two. Your mic, track three, and then everything else. You stream, track four, and you're done. Okay, so I wanted to show you how the audio comes across in your OBS now that you've got it set up. So obviously you can see, now that I'm talking, the microphone, just this track is showing audio. I've got nothing playing on my desktop, such as a game or a video or music. I've got nothing coming through Discord, just my microphone. Now, if I go into Spotify and start playing music, if we go back to OBS, you'll see that there's some music coming through the desktop channel. Now, I'm going to go into Discord and emulate what someone else's microphone would be like by unmuting the music bot that I've got on. So if I go into my Discord, and unmute Groovy, see what he's playing. Okay, he's got some uh, music on. Now there's three different channels. Discord, desktop, my mic. It sounds like a shit show now, but I'm gonna show you why that's a good thing. Okay guys, so if I take the clip that you guys have just heard with all those tracks on, if I go to that now, which is this one, and I drag that in to Premiere, which is my editing software that I use, if I drag this on the timeline, you should see three separate tracks. If we zoom in, you can see that each track has its own level. So if I was to play this now, okay, so I wanted to show you how the audio comes across in your OBS now that you've got it set up. So obviously you can see now that I'm talking, so you can see that I'm talking at the start of the video. If we go forward, desktop channel. Now I'm gonna there's me talking with Spotify. If I go forward a bit more, let's say Yeah. Three different channels. Discord. We have all three channels. Desktop, my mic. Now, if we go back over here, you can obviously mute or remove individual channels. So let's say in a video, I just wanted to show the game sound. Well, in this instance this track is my microphone. I'm going to mute my mic. This track is what would be coming through Discord, so someone else's voice. If we mute this, the only sound you guys should hear is the desktop audio, which was Spotify, which is exactly what you hear. And if I go back to that same place and I mute all the tracks, apart from this one, you'll only hear my voice. It sounds like a shit show now. If I mute this one and play this one, you'll hear what was coming through Discord. There you go. So now you have your audio separated onto three different tracks. Easy as that. The other thing to be aware of as well is if you start cutting your tracks like this, they will be linked so if you do want to delete individual tracks, for example, at the start of a recording, if I undo those changes, if I was editing a gameplay video and I knew I didn't want anyone's microphone in it, whether it was mine or my teammates in Discord, I would just go in here, delete this track. Delete this track, fucking retard. And delete this track. Now when I unmute this, there's not going to be any voices in it. 
and there's not gonna not gonna be any discord noise it would just be the game audio which in this case is spotify see so that's how you get a clean recording if you, if you know you're only going to edit gameplay that's all you have to do import your tracks and delete your discord and your microphone track straight away and that's it if you've got any questions leave them in the comments below or come and join the discord uh, i can answer any questions over in there as well be sure to like and sub if anyone wants to check me out on twitch i stream monday wednesday friday saturday and sunday be sure to stop by if you want to see my setup or the things that i do if you want to see any more videos like this that might help you guys out just let me know uh, either in the comments or message me and i'll try and do what i can let me know if you want me to check out any of your streams and thanks as always for watching bye guys